Algebra is one of the most important branches of modern math. Its origins can be traced back to the medieval Islamic world, where Greek geometric and Indian numerical approaches to mathematics were synthesized to create algebra. For example, the Greek mathematician Diophantus created rules for manipulating and solving equations. However, it was Al-Khawarizmi who introduced the idea of transforming equations by restoration and balancing. In addition, he classified quadratic equations into different types and presented methods to solve each type. Thus, possibly for the first time in history, he was solving classes of equations rather than one equation at a time. Al-Khawarizmi was a Persian mathematician who wrote a book in the early 9th century while teaching and studying in the Baghdad's House of Wisdom. The book was commissioned by the Abbasid Caliph al-Mamun in the year 820 and was titled Kitab al-Jabr wal Mukabla, or The Book on Calculation by Completion and Balancing. It was a foundational text for algebra, since this is the work in which algebra was, for the first time in history, conceived as a mathematical discipline independent of geometry and arithmetic. The word algebra is a transliteration of the Arabic algebra used in Al-Khawarizmi's title. Al-Khawarizmi's approach to algebra consisted of two operations, algebra and al mukabla To explain the meaning of the terms algebra and al mukabla let's look at the equation 2x plus 3 equals 5 minus 4x. The operation of algebra transforms 2x plus 3 equals 5 minus 4x to 6x plus 3 equals 5. Algebra is the operation of restoring a quantity that is subtracted on one side of an equation as positive on the other side. In this case, we are adding 4x to 2x on the left side. The operation of al transforms 6x plus 3 equals 5 into 6x equals 2. In general, al refers to balancing an equation by subtracting the same quantity from both sides. In this case, we are subtracting 3 from both sides. Despite al-Khawarizmi's stated purpose at the beginning of the book and his use of some semi-real-world examples to illustrate his quadratic equations, such as the division of inheritance, his problems are largely abstract. His method diverged from the Greek focus on solving specific geometric problems to finding general principles and sequences of steps called algorithms to solve classes of equations. In fact, the term algorithm, one of the most important concepts of modern science, is simply a Latinized version of Al-Khawarizmi's name. Al-Khawarizmi and many Islamic scholars after him established algebra as a new discipline. They used proven results from Greek geometry to justify algorithms to solve quadratic equations. Surprisingly to most audiences, they used no symbolic notation in their calculations and even wrote numbers entirely in prose. Their operations, however, were still clearly algebraic. For a modern audience, this aspect of early algebra might be difficult to comprehend but Islamic scholars used it to carry out some complicated algebraic operations. Within 50 years after the publication of Al-Khawarizmi's book, Islamic mathematicians had largely adopted his algebraic language. For example, Omar Khayyam, a Persian mathematician of the 11th century, extended Al-Khawarizmi's work to classify and solve cubic equations using geometry. Unlike Al-Khawarizmi, he was not able to find numerical formulas to solve cubic equations. Perhaps more important than his work on cubic equations was his view on algebra. Omar Khayyam writes in regards to algebra that, By the help of God and with his precious assistance, I say that algebra is a scientific art. The objects with which it deals are absolute numbers and geometrical magnitudes which, although themselves are unknown, are related to things which are known, whereby the determination of the known quantity is possible. What one searches for in algebraic art are the relations that lead from the known to the unknown to discover which is the object of algebra.
In Hayam's view, the relations which he refers to might stem from the properties of geometric figures, but the problem is no less algebraic. Although he expressed his cubic equations as line segments and not as numbers, he acknowledged the existence of these numbers, saying that he hoped future mathematicians would be able to find numerical recipes to solve these cubic equations. Omar Khayyam's interpretation of algebra turned out to be very important in modern mathematics. One of the most important branches of modern mathematics has a clear beginning in the medieval Islamic world. Islamic scholars not only created algebra as an independent discipline, but they also contributed much to its development. Thus, the seed of a new discipline was planted during the Middle Ages by Islamic scholars, with whose works it would become a thriving tree bearing many fruits and benefiting many other fields.